Sup everyone, this is Drake or Evolve back yet again with some latest Manchester United transfer news and speculation and today's news is around Bruno Fernandes and it's a big one, it's a massive massive news. Bruno Fernandes who Manchester United have been chasing for a very very long time, who has been exceptional last season, who has been exceptional this season so far, <coughs> we have covered himself in the channel for 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 many videos certainly over the course of the summer uh, along with many other um youtubers like myself news outlets reports have covered bruno fernandez very well and he seemed like a perfect match unfortunately guys i've got some huge news as the title says huge news bruno fernandez signs new sporting lisbon deal so it is official i'm gonna read you out what sky sports had to say Bruno Fernandes, a summer transfer target for both Manchester United and Tottenham, has signed a new contract with Sporting Lisbon. It is reward for the 25-year-old's fine form. He scored 32 goals for his club last season and has already contributed nine this campaign. <coughs> this is what this is what Fernandes had to say. It's a pride for me and a recognition of my work. It's a sign that I'm doing things well. I have been trying my best to do what is best for the club. It is for what I did on the pitch, but also showed that I liked sporting and took pride in representing the club I represent. For me, it is and always will be a privilege to be here and be able to wear the sporting Lisbon jersey. So there you go. That's the... Uh, <sighs> Bruno Fernandes is being officially confirmed. So guys, what can I say? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, Bruno Fernandes, we have, although not been officially, let me just move this wire, not been officially in the market for him, but there was widespread rumors from credible sources that we are were interested in him. And unfortunately, according to Oli himself, not directly towards Bruno Fernandes, but the reason being he didn't sign the... Uh, a midfielder is that um, he's saying that Bruno Fernandes is someone who takes too much risks and we do not need a player like him <sighs> if you look at a season currently now we have no one taking any risk we have no drive from the midfield we have no attacking midfielders we have no creativity we have injured Paul Pogba we're running the midfield with McTominay and Fred and obviously this weekend Andres Pereira and it has been such a dreadful 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 season for us we have made the worst start in 30 years plus and we have no goals coming in from the midfield at all whatsoever so you look at Bruno Fernandes's stats this season alone he has played 17 games guys nine goals six assists for a midfielder that is phenomenal it looks like according to this trajectory he he will hit double well into double figures he'll hit more than 20 goals a season you know the season is 17 games in across all competitions according to this and he's already got nine goals that's over 50 percent that's over t let that take take that in guys for that's he has scored over 50 percent in the games that he has played if my maths is correct and we have someone like Lingard who's sitting in our club still on massive wages who has not even assisted a goal in the whole of 2019 and that is infuriating that is not acceptable we have McTominay who's not a goal scorer we have Fred who's we have Andres Pereira and we have Pogba who's injured and here we are having scouted Bruno Fernandes having been interested in Bruno Fernandes, never even made an attempt to sign this fella. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, guys. Was Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Manchester United wrong in not signing Bruno Fernandes? I'm going to get into some of the theories, I think, that will be implemented in his contract. You never know. A player of his quality, I do not see, especially with the stats he's got, I do not see him staying at sporting for too long he has yet to hit his peak in my opinion um i reckon he's got clauses in his contract where if a club comes in like, like a real madrid or a barca or even united if we're still a big big club 
um, for a certain amount he should be allowed to go and I think that is probably the case if he is clever enough and I think he is a talented individual and I think he is clever enough to to implement these sort of tactics or, uh, or, or a clause in his contract saying that he can leave for a massive club. With all due respect to Sporting, they are not a massive club, certainly in the world stage. And I think they have been a breeding ground for great footballers. Obviously, you can see in the background there, uh, Luis Figo and Cristiano Ronaldo came through their ranks. Bruno Fernandes, at the age of 25, he has yet to eat, hit his peak. I do not think he'll stay at Sporting Lisbon beyond next season. Um, if he is clever enough to have that clause, if he doesn't have that clause, then he shot himself in the leg because the contract will be X amount of years and it'll be hard for us to negotiate with Sporting Lisbon. He was gettable. He was obtainable for 50 to 60 million pounds, guys. But we still budged at that. We did not replace a lot of our players we didn't we, we offer the contract to matter we offer the contract to phil jones i'm sure lingard was in there somewhere who do not deserve contracts they are not united caliber and this is what's infuriating it is a sad day for us united fans uh for to see bruno fernandez sign a new contract which means effectively he is a sporting lisbon player for the foreseeable future and even if a club does come in to make a bid and take him away sporting has the upper hand and hold up for a massive thumb thumb sum if needed and given his trajectory he'll cost probably if he continues like probably 70 80 90 million pound this coming summer obviously there was a bit of a backlash i've been reading a bit of a twitter so you can see some of the guys in the twitter they have been saying things like so after bruno fernandez is clear madison is only player to go after don't think that will be happening bruno fernandez has signed a new contract with sporting manchester should now turn to james madison the best attacking midfielder in the epl and erling Haaland from salzburg be a nice finisher the competition btn marshall and him will be the best thing to bring whatever bruno fernandez signs a new deal is not a blow to anybody united said they were never interested and joseph said he's not buying anybody actually a lie it's a blow to manchester united as we could do with the creative midfield and i agree with that actually but there you have it guys this is bruno fernandez's latest transfer news uh it is not speculation it is official uh it is a massive news that came out early hours of uh yesterday <clears throat> and don't know what to say guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below what do you think about this do you feel that bruno fernandez was can can still be obtainable from manchester united or do you think that ship has failed failed and failed and sailed or do you think we should be going now turning our attention towards a players like james madison who's british you know all he loves british who's younger who's premiership proven but he's gonna cost probably double him let me know on the thoughts in the comments below as always guys i'll catch you guys in the next upload in the meantime, stay far, far away.